Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Uh, this is, it's Saturday today, and um, I needed to do some things, and uh, of course have been set back in <laughs> anything I try to accomplish or get done. Um, yesterday I had a I had a new kind of thing hit me and wasn't expecting that at all. Um, I'm like, you know, as if I didn't need more stuff added to my, um, my, um, you know, illnesses, I wound up with very severe stomach pain, like doubling over stomach pain that, uh, really, um, made me like cold sweat and scared me, <laughs> really, really scared me, so... Yeah, so I just kind of arrested after that, and of course that set me behind, 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 behind. So it is what it is, though. Um, I did, I did get it under control, and haven't figured out what it was. <laughs> um, like I said, just, just my luck as things would have it. But um, I needed to get this uh, Stanhopia. Um, I needed to get it fixed. As you can see, uh, this was a gift from Justin at Justin's Orchids and More. And as you can see, over time, um, a lot of the bark has come up missing out of this because I didn't line this basket. And that is things that you wind up into. And this leaf has now grown out. <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to wind up putting this in a little bit bigger basket. And um, it was drying out too much, too fast. I was constantly having to water this plant, which Stanhope is like a lot of water. So, but it's time this gets a little bit of an upgrade. And as you can see, we've got um, another new growth coming out here that I'm going to have to be careful of on this one when I pull it out of this out of this um, pot. So, but what we're going to do is I'm going to line the a uh, basket with husk, coconut husk uh, fibers, and um, it is in, um, I have it in coconut husk chunks, but it still was not maintaining enough moisture. This thing was really drying out so fast, and um, I'm like, listen, you are not going to do well if you continue to keep drying out like that. So, um, this is a, uh, I thought I had a tag. I wonder if it ate the tag. <laughs> It is, it's, it's grown so well in here. Um, I don't know if it has engulfed the tag. So let's see. It seems relatively going to just pull out if, as long as this growth don't, I'm trying to let you guys see too. Hoping that growth just slides back through. It seems to be going to do that. Oh, it skimmed it just a little bit. I hope that's okay. Hope I didn't hurt it too much. Yikes. I did see it skimmed like a little bit. So that leaf might come out a little messed up, but that's okay. It'll definitely like being up potted into something bigger and better and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her cleaned up and... Um, take out all this old coconut husk chunk. Um, I don't currently, I don't currently have husk made up either, so I'm maybe not going to take too much out um, of the core of her. And you will never, probably, ever hear me say these words again. I'll probably use a little bit of moss, uh, sphagnum moss, <laughs> and putting her back in this other basket. But this was, um, this one was a, um, Stanhopia, uh, I think it was a, ne a Negro Violacea, um, I'll have to see if Justin can remember exactly what it is and I'll, I'm going to remake a new tag but I know it was a, a, a it was a Violacea dark form dark form I'm pretty sure that's what the tag had said can't believe I remember that <laughs> I actually can't believe I remember that <laughs> oh that's funny yeah <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember nothing anymore y'all I can't 
I can't. I'm telling you, I, I, my brain's really just about gone these days. But anyways, <laughs> let me get the supplies ready and I'll be right back. This channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. And they even sell orchids. Use my name code Hillbilly in the code section for a 12% viewers discount. So go check them out y'all. Okay y'all, we are back. Zoom back out. Alright, now I went ahead and lined the basket. <clears throat> okay now these baskets I get from the orchid supply store because they are my official sponsor um, and um, what I did was I lined this basket with coconut husk and as you can see you can see how thin it's lined okay and uh, you want that thin lining more towards the top as well because I mean you want it enough that the the plant and the media is going to stay in the pot or the basket but you want it thin enough up at the top because that's where the spikes are going to come out okay now I can show you as soon as I get this spread out a little more to my lichens all right I guess I did have a little too much in there um, <clears throat> now what you can see is you can definitely see through much of that okay and that's what you want you want to be able to um, make it thin so that spike can find its way out of that media to bloom okay now I'll show you on this plant here this is a brand new growth okay this once this leaf comes up and gets mature a spike will form right here at its base and come out so that's why stanhopias have to be in a basket to where they can um, they can come through the media and out and down to bloom they always hang okay so that is why you should always keep them in a basket or something like that where it with holes so that a spike can find its way out okay now I am going to be using um, Orchid Supply Store supplies. Uh, this, except for this, this is um, a little bit of uh, synthic moss or synthic uh, yarn that I used um, that I had laying. It was actually in this media, it was sitting on top. But I used it on something else pr uh, previously. But and you will very seldom ever see me use chopped up. Uh, sphagnum moss in anything I don't really care for it I don't uh, this has a I had it I had some mix that had a little bit of the treated coconut husk chunks in it and this is a mix of very small um, orchiata bark and extra small orchiata bark and just a little handful of the cla um, regular uh, what is it classic plus or uh, I can't think I'll put it up on the screen I'm, I know it's um, something plus of, of the uh, orchiata bark and of course the charcoal the perlite you want moisture but you want drainage you want you want this to stay moist a little while but you want drainage and um, stanhopias are heavy drinkers heavy 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 drinkers so and this will keep you from having to water them so frequently this one was driving me nuts with having to be watered so much so this will definitely slow down that having to water so frequently so I'm going to add a little bit of this in the bottom kind of push it around there because you see how most of the roots are up top uh, stanhopias aren't ones for real long roots they do kind of they don't grow real long lanky roots or anything they're kind of a a small ball type plant they don't um, I've never personally had them get very long so let's see where that puts us um, I just put a little bit in the bottom <clears throat> and let's see where we're gonna be able to fit her this is a perfect new size basket for her I don't want that new growth heading towards a corner. 
so I'm moving it around and I do I am going to kind of tilt it because it is kind of you know that is, I don't want that part I don't want that new growth down in medium in other words so this is going to be a little difficult to do I'm trying to see I can probably put I put a little bit more in there and bring her up a little more. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. So wet and rainy here today. So wet and rainy. We had really hot weather so fast. And then uh, it wasn't supposed to rain all day, but it has. It's definitely been a rainy, yucky day. All right, let's see. Yes, that's a little bit better. I had it a little shallow on media, except for this side, which um, maybe I could do a little pile on this side since I'm gonna kind of make it crooked. All right, let's see how that does. I don't want to hurt those new, new roots. That's pretty good right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hope you guys can see, okay? <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to pot something so big on um, on film in front of you on camera. It's kind of difficult. <laughs> so bear with me. This will definitely keep the media in. It'll also keep the moisture in, which will be super nice. Super nice. Like I said, this one was really drying out on me really testing my patience and uh, I didn't you know you can't have them be drying out like that they don't they won't bloom for you and that's probably why this one didn't bloom for me last year because it just didn't have enough media and such so and or enough moisture like I said, a lot of the media came out of the bottom, and I was like, what was I thinking? I should have never did that that way, but it's just how it turned out. Because uh, I had, I did, my other one I put, uh, I did put um, the coconut husk fibers around it, so it worked out really well. She's done uh, the um, acidensis, it's done quite well. If I'm a poker to uh, <clears throat> push some of that media down in there. Well, I'm kind of holding up on her a little bit. Oops, I got media going everywhere. <laughs> I can be so messy with that stuff. some on this end and some on the other end now to hook my arm and it is I hope my arm wasn't in your way I'm trying to be a little mindful of where my arm is and a little bit on this end it's a little like I said, a little harder on this end because that's really up in there. It's really grown crooked, and stands will do that. They'll grow out the corners of the basket too once they kind of outgrow the basket. So I want to sink them a bunch of new roots. I want them to go back down in a little bit, but like I said, I'm trying to be cautious of that growth. Where'd it go? It's under that. It's under that media. <clears throat> that leaf will grow out even if it has a little bit of media over top of it or moss over top of it it'll come out all right back 
up some of my media it's on the ground on the table where I'm gonna have to go make some more Let's see what we got here yeah I know a lot of you guys don't have stanhopias because they are they're a big plant they're a big big plant they get really big they are not space saving plants at all and a lot of people do not have the room for them and uh, I can see why I can definitely see why um, I had told Justin had this one not been a gift from him it probably would have went down the road a long time ago um, but the acidensis was was my purchase I purchased her definitely on my own um, because her blooms smell like cinnamon and that was a that was something I wanted to experience so she was definitely a purposeful um, purchase you see that new growth right here coming hopefully you guys can see that yep nice new growth there so this plant will do phenomenal now that she's up potted into something bigger something with more moisture uh, retention and she should do perfect now uh, if I can find the blooms picture of the blooms I'll put them up there for you um, it's really a, it's really a cool bloom of course they are um, you know those big um, big blooms that come out the bottom of a pot or the side of the pot they'll come out through here and uh, yeah but there she is there she is I now I got her in a bigger pot I'll have to find something bigger when I soak her <laughs> that's the circle of how things go but there she is guys so with that said I appreciate all you beautiful wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me and bye for now y'all till we meet again